Hey everyone, well, I'm back at her, day three in the field and I was just about to make a video of how good it was going. And I looked behind me, I heard a, like a bang or snap or whatever, metal, and it's not going so good anymore. So, actually both discs are down now. That broke the shaft on the international disc case, international disc, and I just broke the shaft on the easy on disc. So I'm done for tonight and probably tomorrow. He just snapped clean off. Clean off. Right inside the bearing carrier. So I gotta find. I wonder if I have anything inside the tractor to tie this up with. If I don't, I might have to walk back to this truck, which is three quarters of a mile. So, yeah. Anyway, I wonder if this clamp just looks loose here. And yeah, I don't have a, a nut on there. And this one's loose. Son of a gun. I bet you that's why... What does that hold on? Yeah, it holds on the standard. I bet you that got loose and it twisted. Sure shit. Son of a bitch. Wish I would have seen that. Damn it. So now, I'm pretty sure I gotta go to a machine shop and get that shaft because it's probably gonna be pretty expensive. That's it's a big shaft. And uh, I don't know, I don't know where the closest Easy On dealer is. Probably in, uh, well, I think Versatile bought out Easy On. I think it's versatile now, so I'd have to see. Yeah. Actually, I know where that is. Uh, it's a town about an hour and 20 minutes from here. Versatile. Near our nearest versatile dealer. So I might give them a call, but it's today's Friday, so. Ugh. So, yeah, this thing is actually down for the whole weekend. But I think we can get the other disc up and running. Um, we have a spare shaft at home when I bought it and we found everything except for one disc so I can get that off my old John Deere disc that scrap. But I think that'll be all. Well actually Old Smokey here the alternator went crazy and uh, for the most part I had air conditioning so wait and now it's cloudy. But uh, I think we'll get the other disc going and I can finish this off with that one. The only thing about that one though, it's a lighter disc. And it doesn't cut as good. I really hate this. I gotta try and fix this. Dad hit a low bed. And he was roading it here. It sticks out so wide. Anyway. I'm gonna have to get some heat. Weld it back on there. And then just try and sh bend it back bend this too. I have the other piece so Ugh. anyway that's not a big big deal just bothering me anyway so yeah this was uh, the barley and it's working out pretty good covering it and this is how the barley looks out after almost a year on the ground winter time and through all that rain I wonder what the seeds look like Come on, focus. There. Kind of grungy. They actually don't look too bad. They're hard as a rock too, so they're probably dry. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, anyways. But, good. Oops. Focus again. 
Anyway, it's good for the land to get all this trash in here again, especially this land. Because on a dry year, or a normal year, you want as much trash in here as you can because it holds the moisture. Because this soil dries out fast. It's a very light soil. So, anyway, my camera's dying. Time to head home. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment down below. And uh, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, we'll talk to you all later. Hey everyone. Well, I've decided to uh, add on a little more to this video. So I got the case disc back up and oops, excuse me. Got the case disc back up and running. Uh, we had a spare shaft at home. And uh, found all the missing pieces except for one disc. And uh, we had a spare disc at home from our other international disc. T touch smaller, but it worked. So there's still one disc out there somewhere. Anyways, I've been disking along all day today. Didn't get much done yesterday. But we've been giving her all day today. Actually, just me. Uh because the, the other disc, is, the shaft is still broke. So that, it's the weekend, so can't fix nothing with that. But my harrow fell off. So I don't have any bolts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up my generator and I got my trusty little welder and I'm gonna weld away. I gotta fix that one too. So I like that handy little welder. Come in, it's come in handy. Okay, I got that done. Well, the are up there, 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 and there. Pretty bent here. I don't like these single mounted harrows, they there's too much stress on them. You see these uh back ones here in the center with the, the double there. This is, they're way stronger. They never bend. They never do nothing. I don't know why they made. Well, I can I can see why because the disc is at an angle and you have to have two separate ones. But they could have put two two separate arms on each one. Would have been way stronger. Anyway, I gotta lift this guy up because the bolt is missing. That one broke there. I guess it was welded at one time. So I don't have any bolts, so that's what I'm going to have to do, is just lift her up and weld her. I'll get it straight and I'll just put the disc out. Okay. So, I got her finished. It'll hold. Got her welded there. There, that's the one that broke. I didn't have much to weld to, but I got her. That one welded there, and that one welded there. So I think that's going to hold till I finish. Well, it'll probably hold for a long time. This one here needs a pin going through and straighten. Like I say, I hate these tight arrows. So flimsy. Anyway, I'm going to get back at her. Try and finish this before dark. Uh, I don't have too much to do over there. Finally got her. This is where the barley wasn't swathed. You could tell where it was swathed, well kind of not really. There's a swath there and a swath there, a swath there. Kind of mixed it around, but this was all swathed last winter. In that video I was doing it in the snow. What a waste of time because we couldn't get it in the spring anyway. So yeah, this was all not swathed. So it was about 350 acres. So I kind of lost out double because couldn't get the crop from last year and I couldn't seed one this year until well I couldn't and it was only dry enough to work now so all right I'm going back
Oh yay! So, I got her finished. It'll hold. Got her welded there. There, that's the one that broke. I didn't have much to weld to, but I got her. That one welded there. And that one welded there. So I think that's gonna hold till I finish. Well, it'll probably hold for a long time. This one here needs a pin going through and straighten. Like I say, I hate these tiny arrows. So flimsy. Anyway, I'm gonna get back at her. Try and finish this before dark. Uh, I don't have too much to do over there. Finally got her. This is where the barley wasn't swapped. You could tell where it was swat, well kind of not really. There's a swat there and a swat there, a swat there. Kind of mixed it around, but this was all swat last winter. In that video I was doing it in the snow. What a waste of time. Because we couldn't get it in the spring anyway. So, yeah, this was all not swat. So it was about 350 acres. So I kind of lost out double because couldn't get the crop from last year and I couldn't seed one this year until well I couldn't and it was only dry enough to work now so all right going back I actually had to weld again because I forgot to do that one and that's the one that was actually giving me trouble anyway I love that little welder it comes in so handy I even forgot I had my grinder and uh, yeah it's light, handy. The uh, uh, only thing I wish I had was one uh, a little a little bottle of oxygen acetylene torch, the little ones. So you can just throw them in the back of a truck, not the uh, big heavy ones like I have in the shop. Just a little one, just for quick repairs and stuff. Anyway, sun's starting to go down. Days are getting shorter. Well, the arrows are working good. Can't see any of them flopping around back there. So, yeah, well, like I said, I'm running the 9250 with the 35 foot disc. It's working under the ground pretty good. You can barely see the old barley under there anymore. This disc is a little bit lighter than that Easy On, but times faster and it's doing a good job yeah I'll hit this one more time and then it should be good for planting next year or seeding as we say well we are done 420 some acres I think it was and my harrow's held up nice and smooth so I really gotta get it LED lights put on that thing I only got one headlight in front horrible for one headlight though it works pretty good there should be four in front anyway I'm going home so Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you all later for the second time now. Okay, see ya.